Hey guys, this is Eric Binion from artoblog.com. I want to take a few minutes today to show you a quick and easy way to add social icons to your website. Uh, and instead of just adding them icon by icon, what we're going to do is we're going to take one big image and using a CSS sprite, we're going to apply some classes to that to basically move this image around. Uh, and what this should do for us is it's going to make it, first of all, easy for you. Okay. And second of all, it's going to make it to where it, your, blo your blog will act a little, little bit quicker uh, compared to having, say, 10 or 20 images that are separate. We're just going to have one bigger image. All right, so to show you kind of what I'm talking about, let me load up Photoshop here, and I'll, I'll be able to show you. By the way, over here is the, this is the image we're going to be using. So let me copy that. And so in Photoshop, let's create a new image that is 35 by 35. All right, and so this little box right here, this signifies your list item. Okay, this would be inside an ordered list in HTML. Uh, just think a link, basically. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to copy this right here. And we're going to paste it over this. All right, so what we're showing right now is this is the, this is zero, zero. This is the top corner of this image over here. Just the stumble upon icon. You can see it up there at the top left. And so when I talk about using a CSS sprite, all we're doing is we're going to use one image, but we're going to move this image. So I could do something like negative 36 pixels, which will give me the dig. And to show you this, let's look at some of the code. Like dig right here was negative 36 pixels. Or Facebook. Facebook should be the next one. It's going to be negative 73. So again, I'll move this image up, and we get a Facebook. Notice right here, we have this great... Uh, rectangular shape that's the outline of the big image that we're using as we move it okay and something else I want to show you is the way the CSS is set up is when we hover notice how it's the same code as right here but we add a hover we're gonna move it also to the side negative 38 pixels and what that's gonna do is it's gonna grade out for us okay notice how that happened we've got the colorful and right here we've got the grayed out version okay all right, so now that we've got that, and we have a decent understanding what we're going to do, let's go through the code. First of all, we have an unordered list that's just called social icons. Um, and then what we're doing is we're declaring all the list items inside that. They're just going to be 32 by 33, a little bit of padding, right? Uh, and right here, we declare the background image for each anchor. And then all these classes right here, these are just going to be how we move the image, okay? All right, so let, let's play around a little bit. Uh, right now, what we have in here is we have one Twitter icon, right? To show you that, here we go. So what we're going to do is I want to create some social icons for my, my personal blog, okay? Um, so, so things that interest me are going to be... Uh, Twitter. So what we do is we, again, we have this unordered list, we have list items inside that, and then we have anchors. So you're going to declare an anchor of class, and then the class is going to be what you want to do. So we're going to do Twitter, right? And then you're going to have the href, that's where you're linking to. And so let's add a Facebook. Let's add a GitHub. By the way, if you're wondering what editor I'm using, it's, it's Espresso. It's a Mac app. 
my favorite. I've tried out several, including Coda and some others, and this one does the trick for me. It's got FTP and uh, a lot of syntax highlighting. It's pretty pretty clever. Um, Amazon's a good one, All right? You can maybe put your little wish list up there. Now we'll just do it this way. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Pinterest don't care about ours. All right, that's about all that interests me. All right, so let's go ahead and test this in our little uh, preview over here. So we've got Twitter. Let's click it. Boom! It goes to my Twitter. We've got Facebook. Again, there's my Facebook. GitHub, there's my GitHub, and we've got just Amazon. All right, do you see how quick and easy that was to go ahead and create some, create some basic icons? Uh, and uh, it took all of 30 seconds to a minute, right? So, all right, that's, that's all fine and dandy. How do we add that to your website, right? That's probably what you're asking yourself. All right, so first thing we need to do is let's go ahead and let's upload this sprite image. Let me close that. And I'm going to give you a folder with this image in it. You're just going to add it to your WordPress or wherever you need to. Second, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to add those CSS styles to your style.css or whatever your theme uses. For thesis, it's going to be custom CSS. So we're going to jump over here to Espresso. We're gonna to go to my theme. I use a child theme. And here we go. Let me jump back over. Okay, I'm gonna grab from here. All right, and the only thing you should have, you should change in the CSS is this image right here. So we're going to go back, you could grab the URL too right here, this, this domain name, but you don't need that. So I'm just going to type in this, alright, and then save, okay. Since I use Espresso, uh, when I hit save it automatically uploads it. Then we're going to go to Appearance Widgets, and we're, I'm just going to use a widget. So let's drag a text widget over. And if you've played with this on your own to see how it works uh, on the desktop, just using some basic HTML and CSS, all you should have to do is take from this unordered list down to this unordered list, copy this, let's paste it, let's save it, and now let's look. Boom. Right, so again, we hit up Twitter, there's my Twitter, Facebook, all right, you get the idea. So real quick, in under five minutes, we were able to create some basic social icons that we could use. Um, and honestly, you don't have to put these in the sidebar. You can put them at the end of each post, you can put them at the top under the headline. It really depends on what you need to do. What this social sprite does is it allows you to, to, to quickly just create these icons for yourself. And you can even put them in more than one place. All right, guys. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Uh, thank you for listening. Have a good day.